There are some really fun and intuitive effects built into Presence XT. Now we have two banks, Effects A and Effects B. And in Effects A, the first is a modulation section where we can choose between chorus, flanging, and phaser with some simple controls for each. And then we have delay with filtering the speed, feedback, the mix. We can send it to reverb optionally with that. And we have panning and dotted and doubled options. And then we have reverb again with fairly intuitive controls. And in the second bank, we get this gator module, which is a lot of fun for creating rhythmic effects. We have a graphic style EQ, a distortion module that we turn on or off. All these modules we turn on or off with that and you can choose different algorithms and the amount of drive. And then we have panning that we can sync to tempo or run freely and then choose the depth we want of how wide we want it going from left to right. Now here I've got this on a pad sound and it's just a straight ahead pad, just solo it for the moment. You can choose different effects, chorus, and have it faster, nice and slow is nice. And go something like that. And then delay. Listen, when I turn it off, or when I stop, rather, you hear it trailing off based on this mix and feedback. And I can actually have that panned. So now when I stop the note, the delays go from side to side. I can send that to the reverb. So those delays are more kind of ambient. And then we have the different reverb settings. And then I can go here and turn this on or off. But shaping the sound with two different modes. Distortion, and they get progressively more aggressive. Go with a bit of fuzz, and then I can pan here based on the speed that I set here. Nice slow moving pan, or faster. And we can go as deep or as wide a panning as we want. Let's leave it off for now. Now let's look at the gator effect. We turn it on or off here, and it's basically gonna create a chopping pattern. We have some presets that are fun for getting started. Set the rate here. The depth, so we can have it just a kind of shallow, it's like a range control. So some of the sustain still comes through or straight on off. And we can turn steps on or off. create a rhythm like that. But it gets fun when we turn on the stereo button and we can create the step separately for left and right. So I can get something like that. And you can combine that with the panning. Should be better to have this slower and this faster. So all kinds of interesting possibilities. All this from the one sound. Let's go back. Have this slower. I think it works nicely for this. But of course you can get faster effects. We'll go with that. You can hear it with a vocal. Well, that works nicely. Now I've got this second instrument here, this percussion, and I wanted to show you the delay here. Let's turn this off. There's some congas. Nice reverb. Now here I've got this set to panning. Just creating ghost notes. Very interesting. Low feedback command. I have it set to eight and filtering so that it's very subtle. You can open it up. But I want it to be more subtle. And I'm going to leave this to panning. Extend it to the reverb. Maybe a little less mix. And everything combined. So fun and intuitive effects. Go back to our pad. 
Turn on the filter and we got some modulation going on here. Let me just get rid of that. Now that can add some interesting movement as well. There we go. So those are the effects in Presence XT. We'll continue with more in the next video.